Now it might look like nothing is in this bed. Yeah, there's a dandelion coming up and there's a hellebore leaf. But these guys here, these are um, kind of the common name they're given is the fox and cubs. And I was given a little bit. I admired it at a friend's garden and she gave me a little bit about four or five years ago. Now it's grown so well in this location, I can now dig it up and transplant it in other locations that suit it. It likes, it can be in shade, quite deep shade, and it can be in a very dry location. You can see here's a lovely uh, euphorbia coming up with them. So yeah, no, there's daisy, dandelions, and but these are the guys. So I've dug up a few here and I'm going to go and transplant them in a kind of dry gravelly area and hopefully really do you what, 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 what are you at the pair of you honestly yes honestly I'm trying to do a little bit of gardening and everybody's coming to help so basically what I'm doing is digging up a few and bringing them to another location to transplant. So I'll show you where I'm gonna transplant them. And hopefully over the years, you'll see these few multiply. Now this bed here, behind the stone wall are hellebores, snowdrop, and hydrangea. In front of it, these are winter flowering iris, called iris staliosa, very, very hardy characters. And I want to plant a few of these in along here. You can see there's a bit of comfrey. So I'm gonna plant a few just along here and hope that they spread over time. I'll show you where, oh look, there's a lovely foxglove. So over here, these are some water tanks for collecting water. I planted some of these fox and cubs earlier about a couple of weeks ago and you can see they like this location and they're coming up. So I planted some in there and there it's a very shady area. In the spring, it gets a lot. There's some docks, but, um, and I planted some here, you can see there. So we'll see how those come uh, too. And if they uh, like it there, you can see I put some stones around these ones because I'm always going to these tanks for water and to rinse buckets and all kinds of things. And dogs are drinking like Mr. Bear. So that's where I'm gonna transplant these. She already knows where I'm gonna start working and is waiting for me to commence my work. So I'm gonna start just here on this corner. And then over time, I'll move it along there. But um, these are so sweet, look at that. And of course, these beautiful hellebore. And these smell heavenly. Mind you, those are a bit battered. And look at that beautiful blue flower. Okay, down on my knees and start planting. Well, the bucket's empty. My few transplants are in. You can see there's a baby, there's a baby, there's a baby. And I always find the perfect time to transplant things from one location to another in the garden is just before there's a lot of rain. And then it, can gently soak the roots in and everything. So hopefully this will work and we'll see. So it'll be the beautiful upright um, flowers with their orange heads. Oh, Inca, are you warming the flower bed? Are you warming it up for the babies? Are you being broody? Are you being a broody dog warming up baby plants? Anyway, there we go. All my gardening assistants, including a cat. <laughs> You're such a funny cat, I've met. You are such a funny cat. <laughs>